It really shocked me, this primal urge I had. It shocked me and it hurt me. I did seek help. Liam Neeson is under fire after making controversial comments on race and revenge. I'm gonna kill him. No, those guys. While Liam was promoting his new film, Cold Pursuit, a movie about revenge, he told a reporter about an incident where his friend was allegedly raped by a black person. Now get this, Liam admits he contemplated carrying out a racist hate attack. The actor recalled the incident telling Britain's independent quote, I went up and down areas with the coach, a club, hoping I'd be approached by somebody. I'm ashamed to say that. And I did it for maybe a week, hoping some quote, black bastard would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know, so that I could kill him. Now, obviously his exact words were not taken lightly. Fans took to Twitter calling Liam a performative racist and that he quote, publicly admitted he's racist. I went to a priest, I heard my confession, I was a a Catholic. I had two very, very good friends that I talked to. And, and believe it or not, power walking. Power walking. Yeah, two hours every day. You can to, have... to get rid of this, and I'm, I'm not racist. After all that backlash, Liam appeared on Good Morning America where he clarified his comments, recounting the story again on air. I'd never felt this feeling before, which was a primal urge to lash out. She said he was a black man. I thought, okay. And after that, there were some nights I went out deliberately into black areas in this city looking to be set upon so that I could unleash physical violence. Now, despite making some jarring comments, I do appreciate how he cleared things up quickly and Liam didn't retract or sugarcoat his story. He did admit he was in an emotional state to avenge his friend's rapist, but what's not so settling is that he claimed to go to quote, black areas, and that kind of thought process is still happening in 2019, which is really sad. Now, when asked if he would have the same reaction if her alleged attacker was white, he said this. Oh. She just said an Irish or a Scot, or a Brit, mm -hmm. or a Lithuanian, I would, I know I would have had the same effect. I was trying to show honor to my stand up for my dear friend in this, in this terrible medieval fashion. And I'm a fairly intelligent guy, and that's why it, it kind of shocked me when I came down to earth after having these horrible feelings. Luckily, no violence occurred, ever. Now, some good did come from Liam clarifying his story. He hopes this is a teachable moment for others. What are you hoping that people will learn from you making these statements? To talk, to open up, to, to talk about these things, you know? We all pretend we're all kind of, you know, politically correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this country, it's the same in my own country too, you sometimes just scratch the surface and you discover this racism, racism and bigotry and it's there. There's a lot we all can learn from this open and honest conversation. Of course, we will keep you updated on all the latest with Liam, so be sure to subscribe to All Things ET. Until next time, guys, I'm at Courtney underscore Tezano. Bye for now.